Hey YouTubers, uh, another quick update. Um, so, like I said, I got it all broke down. I got it painted. I went with, um, let me see here. It's this hammered Rust-Oleum. Um, kind of a copper color. Uh, I thought it would look really good. It's taken several coats. Um, I did primer with a dark primer because I wanted it dark. Um, so I went with a uh, really a black thick primer and then um, went with this and um, it doesn't say what the actual color it is let's just say copper hammered so it's actually coming out like it says it's got a hammer look to it there's a lot of imperfections in this I didn't want to spread bondo all over the frame and sand it down so and my wells aren't the prettiest because I didn't get all the um, galvanize off the pipe in certain places and just it wells really crappy so uh, yeah so yeah you see a little bit of where I could have sanded that a little bit better but like I said it's just for my kids um, so yep I'm not the best welder in the world all I can do is I could weld it together and make it stick but uh, you know I'm not in it for the beauty contest of it all so this is what we got plus i like leaving stuff like this real kind of rough why not so yep i'm gonna do the handlebars in a satin black um yep and then i think maybe this bar and maybe the motor plate in satin black but i'm not sure so i might put another coat of this hammered on here to see if i can get it to really kind of thin out, uh, spread out but that's what I got going on with that so far she getting closer and then I've got this thing all bonded up so and believe it or not that's just not that much bondo about a little let me see here yep 0.75 ounces it's like 12 bucks um, no point of buying a big gallon because I never go through it. So I bought that. And I always get one of these. These are great for uh, getting it out of the can. And then, of course, I've got your regular, I bought the regular three pack of Bondo spreaders. And that's the smallest one. And that works great for getting this all. So I got a good coat all over it. I'll probably have to Bondo at least, I think, two, maybe three times. And then I got the first batch with a little bit too much harder in it, so it set up real quick. And then I just uh, done doing the second batch here. I don't do a lot of body work. I know how to do it, but I'm not a horrible perfectionist at any of this. So I just like to build the stuff, get it done, and start using it. If I was more of a perfectionist, I'd probably take three times as long to build something. So anyways, that's what I got going on right now. I did actually kind of clean everything up pretty good. I rearranged some stuff. It's not so cluttered. It's getting horrible in here. And uh, yeah, like I said, probably about another week. It's Saturday right now. So uh, yeah, about another week. It should be all done, ready to go. Should be out riding it. And then it's going to be the new, th building a new project. And then I already thought of a third one. And uh, but I'm um, still drawing the design out, figure it out in my head how I'm gonna do it. But it should be, it should be freaking fun. And uh, yeah, so and then a buddy of mine, I didn't know it, he has an actual old school. Um, I think it's a, I think it was a, it's not the taco, it's something else. But it was just a rolling chassis, and he's actually had it from the seventies. And so uh, he actually had it at his dad's house, and his dad passed away, and he's like, he just we started talking, and I told him I was building these, and he says, well, um, I got this, I'll give it to you. And I was like, cool. So that'll give me about four bikes I'm going to build. So, and then eventually I'll sell them and build something else, but I'm just having a lot of fun building these. It's not that expensive it's it's a hobby i can afford to do which i like and uh yeah so that's it that's all i got for now 
I'll make another video as soon as I get the, the tank done and more painting done and then I'm going to do another video with my um, GoPro on the assembly. So a lot of good video coming. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot YouTubers. See you later.